Now let's take, uh, begin to explain about NOPA mural construction process, the steps and construction points. Before the explanation, first, let's get to know about the construction tools. You'd better keep all the tools in a box. Let's take a look at what, what are in other tools. First, here is a hair dryer. The hair dryer is mainly used to dry paint. When the paint is getting dry too slow, you can dry it with a hair dryer. Then there is patch panel. It would be better to use a long line patch panel. If customers outlet is far away, you can use it to its extent. Next is the tape measure. Tape measure is used to measure the size. It's also used to deal with the composition of the positioning. It will be more accurate to use it. Next, the rollers. The roller is uh, used to roll the pigment. There are big rollers and small rollers. The handle and the roller brush can be assembled flexibly or disassembled. We suggest you use uh, large rollers for large areas where it's more efficient for rolling small areas to use uh, small rollers. Next is the crochet. Crochet is used to dig out the pattern. It's separate, specially made by Nopa Miro. Here is a protective uh, cover. It is to cover of a hand, not to be scrapped by the crochet. And the finger light. This is to wear on the finger. If the light of customer's house is not good, we can use the finger light while dig out patterns. So we can see more clearly. Next is the scrapper. If some customer's wall have a phenomenon of crack or peel, we can use the scrapper to repair it. And is the masking tape. The masking tape is mainly used to protect the wall and the switch around. around. When we are in construction in order to make the button line more neatly down and to avoid some of the switch and decoration on the wall to the firm wheel on the wall to get dirty, we use the masking tape to protect it. After the construction, we will tear it off. And the scissors. Scissor is used to cutting papers. Then is the duster cloth. There is a place to get dirty, we can clean it. And the cotton swab is used for repair in visual places. For example, if the color is not handled well, we can use the cotton swab. Next is the pigment. We'd better mix pigment well before we go to customer's house so the construction will be faster. Of course, if it, it is also okay to mix in the pigment with construction, that's fine. The construction bit is now slower. Next is the color paste. We have to prepare the color paste because the customer want to change color. We can also temporarily mix the various of uh, colors. And there are four colors, red, yellow, blue, black. The bottom mouth is very small. It's very convenient to use it. It won't be pulled out with uh, too much pigment in a time.
the red and the yellow is actually three primary colors you can mix into all colors the dosage of black is the usage is very large so we prepare a bottle of black this bottle mouth is color paste and drop it down while using these are all the tools for construction the construction of Nopa Miro second step is to understand the construction drawing sheet. Each of our painting in the packing, package, packaging paper tube inside have a corresponding construction drawing sheet. This diagram makes it uh, easy for us to understand the construction, composition, and distribution of pattern elements as well as understanding of our construction sequence and the color scheme. Now we'll compare the construction drawing sheet. I'll explain it step by step. First of all, this diagram with all the colors above the cons corresponding color scheme. By watching like this, you understand which are the two colors that mixed it into it. Then you miss color can use these two colors to modulate out. You have a proportion of 20%, 50%, 70%, which means about the amount. You can feel about the, the approximate de deployment. We talk about the construction steps. You see this diagram. There are numbers for one, two, three, four, five, six. The numbers for a sum means it's going to start first. Two, uh, two to one, two to th three, two to illustrate this pattern is composition to uh, pour sections. You should uh, stick two to one first and then two to two, two to three, two to four. Our designs are generally stick from center to the sides because if some of the wall is narrow, the design part can be cut. After finished paste two, then we start paste three. Three is the below section, and then color. Please note the color of two to three is the same. Then we can color it the one time, and we color it, uh, the paint of four. Four is the darker color normally. We paint the light color first, and then paint the dark color. The dark color can be well covered in the light color. When we are done with four, we start to do five. After five, we do six. It's the crane. The crane is divided into several steps. 61, 62, 63. You can construct according to the sequences. You can also find the corresponding elements with the corresponding number from the construction main material. Next, the, the size. Normally, our pattern will be marked with a general size ratio. For example, this line from the ground height is 100 cm. This line from the ground is 45 cm. Our standard size is 4 meters width and 2.6 meters height. So the size of your default pattern is 4 meters width and uh, 2.6 meters height. So you can estimate where to paint, which retail is more appropriate. We'll give some reference index for a position, so it will be more accurate. Another point on all about color of paintings, there are colored parts on the stickers need to dig out or color it, then tear up the tape with a reference of the construction drawing sheet. The colored part need to be dig out, leave it empty, and this part will be colored. This is our packaging of paper tube. It is in in English version, well, yeah, for uh, international sales.
after we get the paper tube, then we compare with the pattern like this. It's called Dolphin's Love. This is a four meter standard. Then we open the cover. Inside is the wallpaper. Now we take out the wallpaper. We begin to identify this wallpaper. This, uh, when it is uh, produced, we have it marked well. The number of each element is very clear. For example, like this: eight one ninety two seven. Eight to five. These are easy to identify. We can take a look at it carefully. Each pattern is carved well. There is um, where we are going to cut out and coloring. Now we are going to split it. We cut off each element and prepare for the construction. Put it in orders. The efficiency of construction will be a, a bit higher. Like this pattern. We put this pattern aside. If you don't use scissors, you can also tear it directly. Take it, tear it off, and then put aside in others. It will be easier for construction. When you're organizing the element, be careful. Count all the numbers to see if there are any omissions. If there are omissions, it may be left on the paper, or maybe you didn't pull out the numbers. So check carefully, um, there will be no omission. You must be somewhere in the paper. You must uh, just do not pick up in the numbers. After the material is ready, then prepare for the construction. Before the construction, one of the most important steps is to understand the construction drawing sheet. We get thoroughly understand of the patterns sequences and what to do first and what to do next and so on. Between the steps, what will be the impact between each other? What space and distance will be more accurate? After the design is fully understood, then construction will be not be missing. We begin to color. About the coloring, we rec recommend you to prepare for one time cup or bowl. If the amount is a lot, we can use a one time bowl. The amount of few, we uh, use a cup. One side color. If you address the pigment, you can put it in bottle. Our basic color is white. White color mixed with the color paste. Stir with the chopsticks. Best way to drop the color paste, first less, and then a little bit slowly to and slowly. If you add too much color paste in one time, then you need to add wet lettuce 
paint to integrate it. You do not add too much color paste in one time. If not enough, then add. Because the color is a concentrated type, it's a new only a few drops is enough. When we color with better adjust it in one time for some elements, you can estimate the amount and then color modu modulate it. If you do not color modulate it well in one time, if the color is not enough for what construction, then you need to color modulate for a second time. For the recolor modulation, the color will not be exactly the same with the previous. If we want to continue construction, you need to roll the entire pattern once and there will be color difference. After the color modulation, you should protect the wall, such as the switch box, the base box, the corners need to be protected. And in this way, after the construction is finished, the pattern edge will be kept very neatly. Next is to detect the wall. You can test it with a masking tape. If the wall is very old, it's recommended to repair it. Some may need to blow ash or need to roll wall paint. Make the foundation of the metal relatively really firm. When we check the wall, we begin to pattern position. After, according to the size and radio of the renderings, as well as the position and the layout the design of, on the wall, we mark it with the mask and tape. For example, this cream pattern, the height of the sum is one meter from the ground, and then mark it at one. So we can do when the sun is accurate to find the position accurate while construction. The line from the ground is uh, 45 centimeters. We mark it at the height of uh, 45 centimeter, which is the height of the construction ribbon. Here is the case. If there is a long straight line, for example, the height for the straight line is one meter, then we use the tape to take a point at the position of one meter height from the ground. Then the interval of uh, 30 to 50 centimeters take a point at the same height and then repeat this. We can mark the same horizontal line and then we use the masking tape to paste it. The line will be horizontal and uh, straight. We we'll paste it and we can find out the marked points. We we'll keep paste it from piece to piece and make sure it's a straight line. After position, let's uh, to stick the wallpaper and the wallpaper like the long line. Usually mark uh, the sequences. One to one, yours one to two. Now, the wallpaper like this uh, long line. We mark the sequences one to one, one to two. Here is one to three. When we paste the long straight line, we take the point, paste the straight. If it's a middle paste, the oblique, there will be deviation. One side height and the other side low. Then we should paste overlap a millimeter at a connection of points. The following is overlapping a millimeter. In this case, the whole part will not be titled. After we finished the pasting, 
We use a roller to make sure whether the height of the two sides is consistent. If it's not pasted well, we can tear it off again, repaste it. After three parts were pasted, at last we can scrap the e extra part. Remember, at the edge of interface file part, there is overlap of the millimeter. If there is a gap, after we paste it, after we finished the paste, we'd better cover a piece of paper above it. When you roll the pigment, you don't be lick out. It will be protected. After the bottom color is done, we have to add another color on it. When we do, we pay attention to it carefully and look at the stickers. It overlap a little bit with the bottom color. While construction connection to it is also overlap a little bit with the bottom color. Well, how to tear off the paper? Pay attention. Look at this method. Left hand to press on it and the right hand tear off the paper. After that, we make a fin comparison of the curves. There is no overlap of bottom color. It means a little biased. We should tear off and replace it. Tear of it and replace it. Here I begin to dig out the pattern with a crochet. Dig it out and then check. We'd better use the masking tape to protect it. Then flatten the edge. The paint will not be penetrated out while painting. the pigment on the paper. We start to roll pigment with a roller. Ensure that the pigment on the roller is even and then begin to paint on the wall. When you are rolling, you should pay your attention and check if the wallpaper is flattened well or if it is pasted well. Now we look carefully. The blue is the light color.
Now we do look carefully. The below is the light color, the above is dark color. So there is a little bit uh, overlap on the color. It, it can be covered. This is the construction principles and uh, sequences. You should paint the light color at the bottom and dark color above it. We are roll onto the marked place. Be careful the row should not be row sideways. You should adjust the direction, row imni. And then this is the first time row. In order to make uh, sure the color more imni covered, you should suggest to, we suggest you to dry it and then color for a second time so that the color will be uniform and delicate. When rolling the second time, we must pay attention not to have the traces of rolling. The force must be light and uniform. If there is a traces like Now we tear up the tape. Well, tear up the tape. Pay attention. We catch the paper with hand. Do not stain on the wall. Now let's take a look at the big piece of paper. How to paste it to the wall? We put the tape side to the ground. The white part up, up towards. From the side of the part to tear up and to 10 centimeters and then fold it. Then paste to the wall. After we paste it well, we pull up the bottom paper. Pay attention to the method. The left hand press it and flatten it. The right hand tear off the paper slowly down. In this way, can avoid the generate bubble. If there is bubble, tear off the paper and replace it. Use hand to press from the middle to the tooth size so that you can animate the bubbles. For large elements, when you tear from the left to the right, if there is a wrinkle on the wall like this, we suggest you to replace it, flatten it, otherwise there will be gaps. The pigment will penetrate from the gap. Now let me introduce about uh, the important part. How to dig out the pattern. For normal pattern, we'd better dig from the up to down, from outside to inside. For a complicated pattern, 
we dig from outer to inner circle. For some of the more complicated patterns like a handsome horse pattern, we pull out the outside circle, the rest is the inner side circle. Our design are like this outer circle are together, so you pull out the outer circle, it will be easier for you to identify the inner circle. When you dig out the pattern, it better contrast with the construction drawing sheet. Confirm with which part need to be colored, which part need to be dig out, you need to be retained. Especially for some crushing place, you should construct with the construction drawing sheet. If the, you dig out the retained part, the pattern will be missing. Then you should find it back from the discarded part. Like this pattern for the crushing elements, if you do not construct uh, with the construction drawing sheet, it is easy to ignore and then dig out and throw away. Then you only need to find it back. Here, let's talk about how to paint the big color part. What are the precautions? Large color part, we must use large rollers. If the place um, is the same way we should roll the pigment on the paper evenly, you must be sure to roll evenly. And then, Continue to roll in the next place evening. Roll evening and then start to roll on, on wall. While rolling, the direction to roll should be along the lines. If you cross roll like this water wrinkle, if you do not roll along the lines, it's easy to stick it down. While rolling, you should ensure there is enough pigment on the roller. Then roll on the wall. If there is not, not enough pigment, remember do not press too hard. Make sure enough pigment on the roller, then it will be more uniform. If you press too hard, the pigment will be easily stuck back. You should be gentle roll it. As long as there is pigment on the roller, it will be rolled very, very uniform. For this large piece of color to roll from the beginning to the end, there will be long interval. So after you roll over the first, first time, you need to use hair dryer to dry it. You can roll the second time directly. When you roll the second time, pay attention. The first must be light. The pigment on the ruler must be evenly absorbed. Make sure do not leave any traces. If it's dried very slow, you'd better dry it with a hair dryer. Normally, large area of color can dry fast. For this pattern, while rolling, you must roll along the lines. It's, if it's not pasted well, then it's easy to turn it over, like this. You do not roll along the lines, you will stick to the sharp corners. Like this situation, we should make sure it's pasted well. And then um, there is no, not too much pigment on the roller. Next, let me introduce a very important step, that is recolor, like the ship. We should recolor with uh, some veins. Some of uh, the patterns will have a mark. The mark will be generally marked with up or down or left or right. Normally, the above part is up, the below part is down. The purpose of uh, the mark using up and down is to recolor. 
as long as the up and down is in alignment and recolor parts uh, of wings of the ship will be aligned. So after we finish the rolling, when we tear up the paper, the mark up should be left on the wall. The recolor pattern is marked uh, one. So we leave the recolor part on the wall and if there is some other part need to be recolored, you'll need to make it aligned with the mark up. Next, let's start to recolor. We put the up on the paper with the up on the wall. Then we tear off it slowly. Make sure the up and um, down are aligned, then take carefully at the lines. Make sure uh, it's all aligned. If it's not aligned, you can tear it down. If it's not aligned, you can tear it down and replace it. Now let me introduce another solution when we recolor. If the recolor mark drop off like the crane, it should be aligned with a red head. If it's dropped off accidentally, don't worry. Because our wall painting paper is a little bit transparent. If you look at it carefully or use the light, you can see still see clearly through the paper. If we want to be more accurate, we can tear it apart. For small elements, we can tear it apart. If it's a big element, you can tear a seam or tear a small piece. It's aligned well, and then we start construction. If there is another possibility it's a mistake, such as the tape rotten or other circumstance that you didn't encounter, if there is complicate, it's very complicated, or you don't know how to make up, you can contact our customer service to de deliver to use such an element for a makeup. Our company rose for within one square meter replacement element is free, so we suggest you to order two same patterns each time, place an order. Prepare one at home and then take out one set for construction. Here I explain some of the other mistakes, such as painted stained the walls of the painting. What shall we do? At this time, we use the same button color to directly roll and cover it. Like the dirty place, we use the same color, color to cover it. Like this part, we use also use the same way for this place.
here we talk about one case that we make a mistake with the construction sequence. What shall we do? Not the sum. If it's originally in the second step, and how to do to put the first step? That is, in this case, the other elements have been done or finally we constructed the sum. We can still handle this problem. We first tear off the sum. After we tear it off, then uh, we cover it along the line and then use the masking paper to stick it. Now repair, repair it. Of course, this is a relatively, relatively simple pattern. If there is more complicated pattern, we can also do some other process. For example, the bottom of the color can be handled or use scissors to cut to a shape like this and then we, we cover it well ne next let me introduce several mi easy mistakes one is that after we painted the bottom color we construct the above the gut bottom color if the bottom color is not dry enough, then the adhesive will not be strong. The adhesive will not be easy to stick on the wall. In this situation, what shall we do? Generally speaking, uh, if the pigment is not enough, uh, you paste the blue the paper and well pull it off of it. It will be easy to attach some pigment. Let's demonstrate now. See, the adhesive is not strong and easy to put down and recharge some pigment. Under this circumstance, if we are in a rush to construct, we can paste the double side adhesive on the paper. Because the double side adhesive glue is relatively strong, we stick to the wall and then construct. Then the viscosity will be higher then it can be pasted very well well i still take uh, this as an example normally uh, we have recolor mark like up and down left to right this means that recolor animals we're constructing a recolor pot we must pay attention this mark should be left kept on wall sometimes under unskilled circumstances while tearing uh, the above paper bottom paper is also easy to tear off the mark together once turned off we cannot find the position and hard for us to recolor so you easily make mistake while recoloring in order to avoid this happen when we paste it, we might would better tear off the mark. When you tear off the bottom paper, the mark will be naturally left on the wall. Look carefully. After you paste it, and then tear off the mark immediately. So after the construction, when we tear off the wallpaper, then the mark will stay on the wall. Well. Next, let me introduce a situation. Because the viscosity is, uh, of our adhesive tape is the same, 
If our wall is very smooth, the adhesive will be very high because it's very smooth. The surface will be relatively large, so viscosity will feel higher. If the wall is rough, the surface is uh, will be relatively th uh, thick. Uh, the c contact surface will be small, so the viscosity will be very low. For the relatively high viscosity wall, we must pay attention the method we tear of the wallpaper. When we tear in, we must uh, be careful to fold up some as much as possible, slowly, slowly, slowly tear, and cannot pull vertically. Do not pull vertically to fold up and tear, slowly tear, like this. This will not cause any problem. Now let me introduce a possible problem. If you we do not care and rip off a here I introduce a possible problem. If we do not cure rip off the wallpaper badly, we can make a remedy. We use a scrapper to scrap a little pigment. If not scrapped well, it can't wait to walk to get dried and then re scrape it. If it so is solved, such small problem easy to handle. Well, here we introduce a circumstance which is easy to cause a mistake. For example, this picture, handsome horse. When we paint on it, most of the color is black, but only one place is red, like the seal place. If we made a mistake, paint the seal place part um, to black, like this situation. If we want to repair it, if the tape has not been torn off, we can directly cover it with the red pigment. And finally, tear of the wallpaper. And then, seal the part when the seal part is red. Now we have complete the construction, the entire picture. The last process is tear of these lines and protection tape. This painting is well done. Now let's take a look, a uh, closer look at the uh, very every details. It is well painted, very nice, delicate, accurate and very great pattern.